Hey, this is Kristen from the Crystal Lake Public Library. And today for Adventures in My Backyard, I wanted to talk about bugs. When you go outside, do you notice all the different kinds of bugs that are in your backyard? There are butterflies and flies and bees and beetles and cicadas and ants and all sorts of different kinds of bugs. And I took some pictures of bugs that are in my backyard. And I'm wondering what kind of bugs are in your backyard. This little guy is an inchworm. An inchworm is a caterpillar that's about an inch long. See the way he walks across my deck, bunching up and straightening out? Did you know caterpillars have 12 eyes? Some bugs you see just during the daytime, like butterflies and bees. And some bugs you see just at nighttime, like moths, most moths, and lightning bugs. This moth flew into our window one night. It was attracted by the light in the room, and my cat was very happy to be able to watch it. Do you see how much bigger it is than the other moths in the window? This moth is called a Prometheus moth, and once it emerges from its chrysalis, it only lives four more days. Its wings are so huge, I've never seen anything like it before. And then one day, we found its wings on the ground and they look like this. Another bug that comes out at night are the stag beetles. They also are attracted to the light. Look at this little guy with all his legs and his antenna and his pinchers. He is just running to get away from me. A spider is not an insect, it's an arachnid, because instead of six legs, it has eight legs, and it doesn't have all of the same body parts as an insect. Look at him run. If you go to Veteran Acres Park, you'll notice lots of butterflies enjoying the milkweed. Milkweed plants are something that you can plant in your own backyard to attract monarch butterflies. You might see one of these brown shells on one of your plants or trees in your backyard. It belongs to a cicada, which comes out of the shell after it climbs out of the ground, and you'll hear it in the trees. The shell is brown and empty, a little bit crunchy and kind of scary looking. Do you know what this big bug is? It's a praying mantis. A praying mantis starts its life in an egg sac with 100 to 200 of its siblings. And when they hatch, they eat the little bugs around them, and they get bigger, and they eat bigger bugs, and they get a little bit bigger than that, until they hit about five inches. Five inches long. Now one night, we found a praying mantis on our front porch, and it was not five inches long, it was maybe about an inch and a half to two inches long. But he was hanging out by my hanging basket, hopefully eating all the mosquitoes that were also hanging around there. Let's see what bugs Miss Susan has in her backyard. Miss Susan? Hi Kristen, it's Susan and I am in my back garden and we're going to discover some beautiful bugs. I do believe I have dragonflies and also I have bumblebees, so let's go explore. Kristen, right here I have a honeybee really busy at work on my cone flowers. Um, these are super important because they pollinate, they help flowers to blossom and they also make delicious honey. So, oh my, I got two of them. And you can see their back legs. Their back legs are filled with pollen. Let me see if I can find it over here. Maybe if we go, look at those back legs on that bee. He's gathering all that pollen on his back legs. He's gonna take it back to his hive. So, Kristen, in my garden, I have beautiful dragonflies, so you can see this one. And dragonflies are awesome because they eat mosquitoes. So they are huge mosquito hunters. Plus, they come in all different colors. This one's actually my favorite bugs in my backyard is a grasshopper. I love their bright green color and I love their very expressive faces and I love how high and how far they can hop when they're trying to get away. Look at his face. He's doing a little back and forth dance there as he's watching me watch him. And just when I wanted him to spring, he did. 
and landed right on my finger. Um, he proceeded to crawl up my finger and up my arm, actually, and they're very friendly little bugs. Next time you're outside, look around up and down at all the different bugs in your backyard. And once you find some, go check out more information on Nat Geo Kids or look in Flipster on our website at Ranger Rick or Ask Magazines. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.